Hello, I am Ren Klihara. Currently, I take a course in Career Foundry and this is the seventh assignment of its fundamental program. In this presentation, I would like to introduce a new mobile application for the purpose of language learning. Before I begin to describe the details of the app itself, however, I would like to start with a concrete person who would use this application. His name is Andrew, working as a junior level paralegal in LA after he finished the study of international law in the university. He is a well dedicated worker in the company as he works 10 to 12 hours a day. While he is a very busy man, he is quite satisfied with his job as he can utilize his knowledge of illegal studies. At the same time, Recently, he feels an increasing pressure to improve his Spanish as there are more and more inquiries from Spanish-speaking clients from Latin American countries. While Andrew had in the past learned Spanish both in his high school and university, it was not enough to communicate with clients or write an email which contains specific legal terms. Although he wants to improve Spanish fast and effectively, as this would be a great opportunity for him to pursue a higher position, time constraint was a major obstacle to realize his wish. Indeed, he could only daily use his time only twice to focus on Spanish learning, commute on and lunch break. It takes around 15 minutes each. Furthermore, the learning process can be boring and tiresome if there is not enough motivation. Even when the progress and learning process is rather slow, it is vital for him to make a new habit of learning a new language constantly. When we think about the Pratt problem of Andrew, it became clear that the most ex existing apps for language learning was not suitable for him. This is because those apps require users to use the app longer than the expectation of busy worker like Andrew. In specific, he wants to use half an hour or 45 minutes a day for language learning and less than 15 minutes each time. Thus, I assume it is important to overcome the time constraint as well as to provide users motivation constantly. Based on such a need, I made a prototype of a new app with the name Eureka. Compared to the pre-existing apps, the focus of this app is on the short cycle of learning process, as each lesson will take less than 15 minutes while users can confirm the progress every time they finish the lesson and also when they log in. I decided to conduct usability test first in order to check if users can successfully go through pages and find the right page quickly without pause or confuse. I chose onboarding and login, as I thought it is important to observe the reaction of the participants in this very first step of using Eureka, because the smoothness of sign-in and login process has a decisive effect to those who consider or continue to use the app. Also, I included word list and logout, because these two items will reflect how easy and usable it is for users once they get to home screen and then try make use of the app itself. After reviewing the test though, I found one severe issue in the page shown on the left side. While the test did not require participants to input email or password, one participant made a remark during the test that the page does not contain forget password button which is crucial for repeat users who happen to forget one. Furthermore, while I put two different word lists as on the middle and the right side, it was difficult at least for one participant to dif differentiate those two pages. Originally, I intended to make these two pages so that users can see the words they have already learned and the ones they are going to learn. Although both of which are actually indicated right above the list itself, it turned out that the indication was not clear enough. Based on these two issues, I updated the design immediately. First, I added the link under the password column 
in case users forget their passwords. Second, I change the design of word list, not to divide the list by ones already mastered or by the ones not yet learned. This time I made one comprehensive list. The gauge on the left of each word shows the proficiency of users which is based on the number of mistakes in the lesson. As I expect there would be more potential to improve Eureka, I would like to deal with the following task in the next step. First, I, as I didn't focus on the learning content itself, I will consider the detail especially what kind of design and sequence would be optimal and attractive for users to learn with the app continuously. Also, I want to consider the diverse forms of question and its order in each lesson which I think affect the concentration of users in each lesson. Secondly, I will add some more functions which help users to use the app without obstacle or repetitive action. Especially, I think it is vital to add saving or pause function in learning part and multiple modes which enables users to mute, for example. Then I want to add the instruction when the lesson begins for the first time after logging in. Although the original design and the process allows users to grasp the basic feature of this app even before they begin to sign in. I think it is relevant for users to be instructed how they can use, learn and eventually optimize the app. In addition, after making above improvements, I want to work on mid fidelity wireframe with which users can experience how Eureka works but without detailed design or animation. Finally, I will perform additional interview before and usability test after this whole process so that I can be responsive to the demand of actual users. As I have worked through the process of UX design for the first round, I'd like to share several aspects of pros and cons. First, let me mention a few cons. While I'm slowly getting used to the process by then, I found it a bit difficult to look back con constantly what I have done in the previous process, which is actually key to the following process, especially when it gets to the later and later on. In addition, it would be difficult to maintain the consistency, especially when we create a more complex architecture, I imagine. Also, handwriting required me to take much more time than, ex uh, than I expected, as I was quite away from it for a very long time. I have summarized these items, uh, possibly due to my inexperience in this profession. However, overall, I would emphasize what I have obtained through the process, as so many things were quite new to me personally. First of all, structure and flow of work was crucial to me as I had no previous ex some experience in this field. I feel somewhat confident after grasping the whole picture, and this is true especially because the information was provided before I actually begin to work on assignments. Secondly, I found the process of persona creation very useful, as I could focus on thinking what this particular person would need instead of considering what I can make or achieve as a designer. Furthermore, the wireframes enabled me to concentrate on the making a logical order for users. Indeed, with a huge help of prod software, I could make a lot of trial and error without much burden of additional handwriting or dot connecting. Finally, interviews and usability test is a rare opportunity for me to hear some opinions from the people around which gave me an insight or perspective which I would never come up on my own. So this is the end of my presentation. If you want to take a look at my presentation, please refer to the link which I will put in the first slide of this file. Thank you very much for your listening.